everywhere you never been and better than I ever been the brand new 2019 Acura RDX. Yes, the Acura RDX. Matt, why are you behind the wheel of an Acura? Acuras have no personality, they have no soul. Wrong, very wrong. Acura has spent a lot of time, a lot of money to get this new RDX very, very right. Now, like I said, this is an entirely new platform for Acura. Uh, it doesn't share anything with any sort of CRV, any Pilot, any Honda parts. This is all brand new. This is the first car from Acura to be designed with their new kind of diamond quad, um, excuse me, diamond pentagon uh, front grille. So it looks honestly reminiscent for me of a Marvel superhero. It's got a nice shield look to it. It looks menacing and intense, surrounded by the beautiful um, seven LED bulbs, uh, full LED headlights. They look fantastic. Now before I get too much into detail, I do want to talk about how this car is not just longer and not just wider, but it is bigger in pretty much every aspect than the outgoing model. This car was already pretty much segment leading in terms of interior cargo. I'm going to switch out of Sport Plus mode for, for a second, put it into comfort mode while I talk to you guys. Um, <clears throat> This, I mean, this car was pretty much entirely segment leading in terms of interior uh, volume and space for passengers, and it's much the same story and improved for this generation. 19 inch wheels are standard, but you absolutely should option up to the 20 inch uh, alloys on the A-Spec trim. Those are my favorite. I am in the advanced trim. That is the top trim with the most technology and the most features. Um, that is what it's gonna get you uh, all the goodies. Uh, and they have pretty, pretty, uh, Pretty nice 20 inch wheels as well however I do like the darker gray of the a spec overall I think the 2019 Acura RDX looks fantastic uh, it's got a beautiful kind of geometric swooping uh, body style but it's not overdone uh, as you see in some Nissans and it also has nice kind of muscularity to it with the big grille uh, the nice fenders it's got chrome accenting around the uh, the roof line to give it a nice sloping elegant effect it looks fantastic uh, and of course accented with those big dual tips out the back is a pretty nice look as well now obviously looks are subjective so you can tell me hey Matt I don't like the look of this at all and that's fine but you're wrong um, what I do want to talk to you guys about is features though and this car is chocked full of them everybody in a luxury SUV crossover thing wants the most tech and the most features the most fluff you know, they don't want to do anything for themselves they want the car to drive itself well this car comes equipped with everything you could possibly need so before I jump into the tech, I do want to talk about the layout of the interior. This is based on Acura's Precision Cockpit that they first brought to you in the NSX. Yes, this car is designed with sport in mind, and I'm going to get to that in a minute when I talk about dynamics. But everything is laid out right here on this nice uh, kind of head unit. It's, it's beautiful, it's intuitive, it looks a little intimidating at first, but everything is laid out really well. Very, very nice. Um, and let's get into features. Now this is Acura's new 10.2 inch display up top being controlled by uh, what they're calling a touchpad, similar to Lexus, except it's way better. Think of it as a touch screen, but down here, so you don't have to get your fingerprints all over the screen. So what you can do is you can scroll through it like a, like a trackpad on your laptop, but you can also just click without looking at the at the trackpad and decide what you want. If you want infotainment uh, or radio, if you want nav, if you want you know vehicle status, whatever you need, it's right here. It is a little there is a little bit of a learning curve to it, but once you kind of understand the dynamics of it and how it's supposed to you be used, it really is pretty intuitive, and I don't mind it at all. Now the screen can be split. Uh, there's a larger portion to the left and then a smaller portion to the right. To the right you can have nav, uh, radio, or just a clock. The main screen to the left is where you're going to have everything else. And you can also toggle them back and forth. So if you want nav on one side and radio on the other, or if you want radio on one side and nav on the other, you can do whatever you want. Now this car does come standard with Apple uh, CarPlay and Android Auto, uh, which cannot be said about every car, so I feel like I need to mention it. Uh, fantastic features, absolutely should have them. 
One of the most fantastic things about this new RDX is how much comes standard. Now this car comes standard with Acura watch and what that means is it comes with a whole safety suite such as collision mitigation braking, uh, adaptive cruise with full stop, and <laughs> active lane keep assist, road departure warning, and blind spot monitoring as well as a nice 360 camera for when you're parking in tight spaces. Also you have USBs, um, outlets, aux, cord, aux ports, everything that you need all over the place. There's four USBs in the car, two up front, two in the rear, uh, and I'll get to that in a minute as well. But I do want to talk about the fit and finish of this car, and this is the thing that kind of just threw me. I mean, I have it in the shot positioned here that you can see the standard panoramic sunroof. It's the biggest in the segment, and it's standard on all trims. Absolutely fantastic, a must have. I feel so open and airy, and it really makes the interior feel so big. But the big biggest thing that I think was that was impressive to me getting into this car was the fit and finish. The leather on everything, the actual, the real wood accenting on the dash and the kind of center cup holder area. It's, it's fantastic. You can feel the pores in the wood and the grain. It's fantastic. Um, also there's accenting with aluminum and um, you know all that sort of stuff to, to kind of break up the black that you normally get. I'm in a black car with black interior. Now there are a lot of people that do that really, really wrong, but Acura has beautiful white piping and stitching uh, all over their seats, and just it's it's just a good looking interior. And it's it's a beautiful, extremely premium feel, uh, and it's gonna compete with you know the Germans, the Audis, the Mercedes, and things like that a lot better than it has previously. Now this being Wisconsin and it does get cold, uh, we not only have three level heated seats in front and back, but we also have a heated steering wheel. And it's a hot day right now, it's about 90 degrees, I have my uh, three level cooled seats on. Again, fantastic feature. Uh, cooled seats and keyless entry, some of my favorite features right now, just because I'm a simple man. Uh, this car has both of them, so great job Acura. Now we're talking about interior still, uh, I do want to mention, I have so much room and there's just... It's really, it really takes me aback here. I have so much room up front. There's a nice uh, kind of cubby right under the center console here. Uh, the rear legroom is segment leading, I would have to imagine. I'm 6'1", and I have you know a fist plus of room in front of my knees. The headroom is it's, it's mildly tight, but really not bad, especially with the sunroof shade open. Um, it's, it's fantastic. And it was segment leading in the past, and it definitely is segment leading now, and I love it. While we're talking about interior uh, cargo, I do want to talk about the trunk as well. Obviously you have the, uh, the foot kick gesture uh, activated <laughs> automatic trunk. Um, with the rear seats up, you get about 30 cubic feet of storage. With the rear seats down, you get, I believe, close to 70. So huge, huge amounts of storage in this thing. Uh, and also you can lift up the floor of the trunk to expose these little bins that you can put I have very smelly gym shoes. You can put those in there. Uh, you can put a goldfish in there. Don't do that, obviously. But you can put a bunch of stuff down there, which is what my point. Um, <laughs> and also, even with those cubbies under the floor of the trunk, you still get a spare tire underneath that. It's on. The, it's mounted on the outside of the vehicle, um, kind of like a Jeep. But it does. It it does have it. And I, I mean, it's amazing. With all that trunk space, you still have a, fl a spare tire. It's it's incredible. All right, and now we're gonna talk about dynamics. So I'm going to put it in Sport Plus. Ooh. So the second I put it into Sport Plus, I felt the revs kick up a little bit. Everything kind of sharpened up. This is a brand new car in like pretty much every sense that you can imagine. There's new suspension. It's a new electronic steering rack. We've got four drive modes. And this is what I'm talking about with Acura kind of bringing it this year with this generation. It's really focused on sport and performance. Um, their kind of moniker is precision crafted performance and it really shows because they want you to drive this thing aggressively and have fun and be sporty. So what they do is the drive mode that defaults when you turn the car on is sport. There is a snow mode, there's a comfort mode, there's a sport and a sport plus. I have a sport plus now and it's tightened up the dampers. Uh, the advanced trim has adaptive dampers, the rest have normal. Um, but everything is tightened up. The steering is heavy and precise. Uh, the, sus the suspension is, is taut and rigid and ready to throw around in a corner. Um, and also the throttle response. This is the Acura's 10-speed automatic transmission made in-house, and it's fantastic. It's just fine. It works super well, better than any 10-speed I've driven before. All right, I'm gonna pull out on this road and we're gonna give it a little gas. Here we go. Sport Plus. Oh my God, the stability. Oh, and the power. <laughs> this is Acura's two liter turbo 
making about 272 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque, and I just felt like I was in a sports car. This is not a short car, this is not a low center of gravity, but what Acura does is they've equipped this car with their super handling all-wheel drive system. What this means, it is not a normal all-wheel drive system. This is a torque vectoring all-wheel drive system. What that means is you can send 70% of the power from the front wheels to the rear wheels at any moment. And of that 70%, you can send 100% of that 70% to one side or another. So if you need to uh, take a hard right turn, it's gonna send a bunch of power to that outside left rear wheel and you're just gonna whip around. It's, it, it feels so good. It feels so confidence inspiring and so planted and so nimble and light. This car is got a front weight bias, which means it's prone to understeer in normal cars. But with this super handling all wheel drive, it's it's just, you don't feel it. It's it's fantastic. So overall, I mean, I have to say this, this is one of the most fun SUVs that I've driven. Um, it's gonna compete extremely close to the BMW X3. It's gonna leave the Audi Q5 in the dust. Honestly, this car is more responsive, it's more agile, it's more nimble, it's more ready to do whatever you want it to do than an Audi Q5. And, I mean, there you have it. I mean, that's that's a fantastic accomplishment in and of itself. From a car that went from bland but a great seller to something with passion and performance and just, you know, it's a great step for Acura. I love it. Now. Uh, I'm talking about all these things that I love. I do want to talk about the fact that this is the advanced trim. So this is the highest, this has got all the goodies. Uh, it's the top trim, it's it's everything that you could want. Um, if you want a more sporty looking one to kind of match the sporty performance given to you by the, the two liter and, uh, and the super handling all wheel drive and everything, that's fine. You can get the A-Spec, which is gonna give you kind of the same, the same look, but it's gonna black out all the kind of chrome aluminum um, accenting it's going to give you a little bit of active aerodynamics in terms of kind of managing airflow around the front wheels uh, it gives you a lot of stuff actually and i think it looks fantastic especially those 20 inch wheels in the dark gray now it is just a it's, it's essentially just a body kit you're not going to get any more power from it but think bmw m sport package or lexus f sport package it's just a body it looks good but i mean this is already a really nimble and precise and aggressive vehicle so adding a little flair to the exterior is fine by me. Now lastly, I do wanna wrap up talking about how this car is valued. This car you can get standard with front wheel drive uh, and all that for $37,300, which is pretty cheap. Optioned up all the way in this advanced trim like I have it, you're still coming in just over 48,000. So when you can get into a base at 37,000, that's cheaper than pretty much everyone in the segment. You can get a nice option package on this thing for still cheaper than you can get into an X3. So for those reasons, I feel like this is a fantastic value uh, and definitely worth a look. I know if you're a loyalist to the Germans and everything, go ahead, you're gonna look, but please, if you don't look at this car, you're doing yourself a huge disservice. It is fantastic, it is sharp, it is precise, it is full of life. Uh, fantastic improvement from Acura, well done. Also, before I wrap, I do want to say thank you to Acura of Brookfield, Wisconsin for making this review possible. They have been so generous and, and fantastic to work with, extremely professional. They've taken great care of me and they will absolutely do the same for you. So please go check out their RDXs on their lot right now. Uh, they have plenty of them and they will take fantastic care of you. So go check this car out. You're not going to regret it. So as always, leave a comment, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. Follow me.